Uh, like a few days ago, uh, precisely on September 9, I celebrated my birthday <laughs> in my own unique way and different activities that ensued before that day that eventually um, had to come to uh, fruition or the end on that particular day. I'll be sharing later about that uh, whenever the Lord permits me to explain some things that I have experienced. But today I have come with a wonderful topic. There's a woman I just heard about from a guy called Drew. You can search for his name on YouTube. The guy, is a, he, he travels a lot to gather information, creating documentaries, which I love. And from his video, I came across a wonderful story of a lady in Ethiopia who has been um, living a life for the past 16 years without drinking water and without eating any food. No fruit, nothing. Nothing goes into a mouth. She has been living a life like that for 16 years. You know, I know when you see even this topic, you'll be wondering that, no, no, what, what are you talking about? This is not possible. Scientifically, it is not possible. Yes, you're right. Scientifically, it is not possible. But God-wise, is it possible? With God, all things are possible. Is that inclusive in that verse? <laughs> can that qualify for one of those things that you can quote by saying, uh, with God, all things are possible. So is it possible for a human being to live and exist on earth for uh, 16 years without meal, without anything? Is it possible? Now, before I proceed further, look at this video. This woman in Ethiopia has not eaten in 16 years, not a single piece of food or a sip of water. Doctors in Dubai examine her body and confirm there are no traces of food in her stomach. But somehow, this 26-year-old remains healthy. Is it true you haven't eaten in 15 years? Oh, nothing. Yes, it's true. I make a tea and I make coffee too, but I, I, I don't drink none of that. Something still doesn't make sense and I want to find the truth, so I invite Mullawork on a walk outside to ask some hard-hitting questions. I came here because I heard that you haven't eaten in 13 years or 15 years. Is it true? Oh, nothing. Yes, it's true. I, have, I haven't eaten for the last 16 years. Was there a moment in time where you just ate and then you said, I'm tired of eating, I'm done? Or is it a medical condition? It was one morning that I used to live with my family and they asked me, eat breakfast and go to school. She said, I had eaten, but she, she was pretending she had eaten. She never ate. Uh, she lost appetite and for water or for any food. Have you seen a professional doctor about your condition and if you have what have they told you yes i have seen a doctor abroad and uh, they have tested me for for a week and they even questioned my mental status uh, they think that i was crazy but uh, i'm intact she said i was pregnant to her and uh, they have to give a lot of glucose for the baby did you breastfeed your child? There was no breast as much. No breast milk. She did not breastfeed. You seem to have a lot of energy. Where is the energy coming from if you're not eating anything? I don't even know. It's, it's, uh, it's a nature. Don't question. Is it an act of God or is it just random? This is what I believe. It's a work of God. What else could be? Mula work. what was the last thing you ate? Can you remember what the meal was? The last uh, meal I had is injera with lentil. Do you think there will ever come a day where you get hungry again and you start eating? I don't think so. When people watch this video, they're going to think that you're fake, that it's a lie, that it's all for show. What do you want to say to those people? I have nothing to say to them. They can come and observe my my daily life and I don't eat and I don't drink. When you say you don't drink, no water, no nothing. 
She said, I'm Orthodox Christian, I go to church. Yeah. And there is a holy water that you're supposed to drink. I don't even drink that. You don't even drink don't the even holy water. This. If you don't eat and you don't drink, do you ever use the bathroom? Uh, the only reason I go to the toilet is because I have to wash my, my body. And I never used bathrooms for 16 years. Really? I find that so hard to believe, but I guess if you don't eat or drink, then you don't have to use the bathroom. It is so nice outside right now. Like, the sun is going down. Every now, based on what you have watched, I don't know whether you've been convinced already that uh, this is possible. The purpose of this teaching today is to let you know that with God, the truth is with God, nothing is impossible. The first time I heard about something like this was uh, from uh, one of my mentors. I call her Mama Nancy. She's an American, a 76 years old woman, but very agile, very strong. She's doing well with, for the Lord. And she's a wonderful, powerful missionary that has uh, experienced strange miracles, strange miracles. I'm not talking about healing the headache or fe fever leaving someone. It's healing as well. Yeah, whatever kind of healing is healing as well. And it's, it's worth uh, praising God for, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to downplay whatever the act of God is since I cannot do anything of such on my own with my own power. So for God to have done that for anyone it is not to be taken for granted. So, one of the miracles that has been performed through the uh, hand of God in the life of Mama Nancy was a remarkable uh, story she narrated about, because uh, she usually go to the uh, Islamic world uh, as an evangelist, as a missionary to preach the gospel. So she went to these uh, staunch, serious Islamic community, uh, city actually, and uh, they were filled with jihadists and those who trained terrorists and things like that. She went there because the Lord led her to go there and she believed, without having any weapon, you understand what I'm saying? She went there and the Lord God of heaven that sent her there kept her. Now. In one occasion, uh, the Lord used her to transform a whole community, whether it's the whole city, I don't know, but like a whole community were transformed by the Lord through the power of God and the love of God that flow through this woman of God. Now, the, the miracle I'm talking about was conducted on a girl, a little girl that the entire family of maybe like 5,000, I don't know how many number, I can't remember the number of uh, people that were in that community. It's a Christian community where Christians has been gathering themselves. Uh, those who are in that Islamic region, they were Christians, but they, those who were Christians in that Islamic region had a community of themselves where they uh, it, they, they were able to um, express their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. But uh, the terrorist group heard about this and they went to that village and set the whole community on fire. Everyone got burned, except this little girl who actually got burned as well, but she was able to run with the fire on her body. Can you imagine such a pain with fire? Because what was her crime? Because she accepted the Lord Jesus Christ with her parent. So she ran out of this fire with the fire on her body. She ran out. I'm saying that because by the time she got to her grandmother, who eventually tried to wrap her up, to, in order to quench the fire or, or suit the pain or whatever it is that she thought she was trying to do. She wrapped her up with um, probably a thick cloth and that then made the hand of this girl to 
stick to the body because she was wrapped, stick to the body, then the hand melted into a skin because they were all on fire. And so uh, she was brought like that to uh, Mama Nancy. Fire all over, as in they, they, she has been burnt, that's what I mean. All the old skin, everything, and the fingers has dropped off as a result of the fire. Fingers has dropped off. Now this woman came to Mama Nancy, uh, the, 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 this girl came, uh, she was brought to the place and a dead body was also brought, someone who has died uh, for over four days or so. They brought the person, they, uh, probably they, they actually brought the child that died because uh, they, just to mock the Lord Jesus Christ in the life of the woman who has been saying that with God all things are possible. They wanted to disgrace the gospel. So they brought a boy that has been dead. Whether four days or six days, I don't know the number of days that she, I couldn't remember the number of days she mentioned. But this boy was dropped uh, before her. She said she continued to pray and pray to God that Lord arise and let your enemies be scattered. She prayed in her own way. She prayed, she prophesied, she declared, she worshiped, she called upon the Lord. And after a while, the dead child who has been dead for days came back to life. And all the Muslims, the jihadists that were present gave their life to Christ. The whole of that community gave their life to Christ. That this your Jesus is actually the God indeed. Now, it, the girl that was brought with the melted body, melted skin, imagine this kind of scenario where the fingers is already off. Just this part of the body that is left probably with maybe one finger, maybe a thumb. Yes, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a filmmaker, so I, I can picture things in my mind the way it can be, you know, as a writer. So, uh, the, the, but what she said was that fingers were already off. She didn't say all the fingers, but she just said fingers. So I don't know, I'm, I cannot remember how many main fingers she mentioned. So with this stuck to the body, she prayed. And in the presence of everyone, new skin started growing. The hand got removed from the body. And new fingers started growing in the presence of everyone. New fingers, new skin, new everything. Fresh body. Remember, she's a little girl, not a baby girl, but like, I think about 13 or 14 years old. Everything on her body, your, her chest, everything came back to life. Fresh skin from God. We are serving a wonderful, powerful, incomprehensible God. God that you cannot limit with your limit mind and concept and ideology. Now, this same woman I say, like I said, she was the first person that, that I heard who went without food and water for 10 days. She did not sleep. I know, because I came from Africa, so I know people in my country who has gone on uh, 40 days uh, dry fasting, as in no food, for 40 days but they were drinking water some people they will start drinking water from the fifth day from the sixth day even my own self i went i've been on long fasting before i don't want to mention the number of days but i have been on really really long fasting before and i did not start taking water i think until the fifth day that's when i started taking water and i continue like that but this woman but I was sleeping, I was praying, I was doing all that while I was going on my own fast. But this woman was not fasting. But she did not eat, she did not drink. She did not sleep, she did not use the restroom. 
she couldn't do anything other than prophesying over 10,000 students in an orphanage home. Over 10,000 students. Well, I don't know whether it's orphanage home or whatever kind of school. It's a kind of special school, but she had 10,000 students that she had to stand, whether standing or sitting, I can't remember what that word is, but because I want to be factual about it. And she was prophesying on these children, one after the other, for 10 days without rest. When I heard that, I said, that is God. You know, the Bible made us understand that uh, the spirit will testify unto the spirit. Spirit recognize spirit. So I know when what I heard when she was talking, I know that this is God speaking through this woman indeed. So I have believed our own story before I then come across this lady that you just watched the video who stayed and who has been living a life without food or water. A president heard about her, flew out to a uh, different country. I think she, she went to Qatar, Dubai, and like four different country, countries, maybe even Indonesia, like four countries. You, would, you must have heard that in the video. Where they tested her, scanned everything, and they said she was perfectly okay, and there was no sign of food or water in her body as in what that she had consumed there is no trace of anything on her and she was placed in a place for a while to see to just ensure that are you serious now the point is we are serving a limitless god do not limit God in your mind. The reason why I brought this video is to prepare us for the next phase we are entering or not. Please stop the idea that God wants to quickly take you out of this country, uh, out of this world. Stop the idea. God doesn't expect you to be afraid. God just wants you to brace up. Like I said in one of my videos, Every filmmaker, every writer always writes something epic for the end of the movie to drive home the message. So, this is the end time. Do you think God wants you to miss the show? <laughs> I don't want to miss the show. Whatever the Lord wants in stock at this end time, like I said, a lot of a lot of uh, painful events and issues will be happening. But if you stay connected with the Lord Jesus Christ, if you allow the Holy Spirit to continue to be the leading factor in your life, the leading person, leading and guiding you in your life, then you don't have to be afraid of what will happen. Because if that woman you just saw could go without food and water for 16 days and she's still alive healthy and by the way according to that video she actually has her own daughter you as a child of god there are several wonders the lord may want to perform through you you don't have to be a pastor this lady is not a pastor but she's a wonder to the whole world Islamic doctors, they check her, and she says she's a Christian, that if people can fast and pray to God, and if God can give her the grace to just be, <laughs> to just be like that, to just live a fasted life for life, she said, why not? And one of her desires is that she goes to church to keep praying, to just keep praying. She plants her seeds, she does a lot of things, she cooks for others to eat, she cooked for her daughter to drink, to eat, and she won't taste any part of it. She never used restroom for the past 16 years because she had no reason to. Now, tell me, couldn't that have been God? It is only God that can make such happen. Whether you believe it or not, 
But for your own good, it is better for you to start believing in the things that are impossible to man. Because we are moving to that era where you're going to need it a lot. You're going to need to believe God for him to even produce, provide food in an empty pot. You just mention the type of soup you want and the Lord can make it happen. So long as you're following him with a pure heart, he's going to guide you. He is God. He is a limitless God and he loves you. You are not to be afraid because one of the issues we have in our world is that a lot of people are afraid of Satan. Surprisingly and shockingly, some and many men of God are afraid of Satan and what Satan can do to them. Many children of God are so much afraid of Satan and so they pray more against Satan and his works than calling on, calling on God. And that's why whenever they want to pray and uh, they lead them in the prayer of worship and thanksgiving to God, uh, they, they will prefer to just murmur that through, just notice that in your churches, that when it is time to praise and worship, I'm not talking about dancing and all that. I'm not saying anything is wrong with dancing. I'm talking about pure worship, not show off of any kind, any kind of thing, but pure worship. During the worship, and praise that you give unto the Lord. If you, when they say pray, pray, pray our thanksgiving and appreciation to God, you may just stroll through that for like five minutes. And all you're expecting in your mind is for them to start attacking devil. That that's what you're waiting for. Then the next thing is that that's when you then raise your voice because you want to attack the devil. And you will love to pray that prayer for two hours rather than just sitting before God and communicating with Him. Do you think anything is wrong in you sitting down and saying, Lord, how is everything? How are you today? Because it's a relationship. If the Lord, for you to, <laughs> you can wake up and say, Lord Jesus, how are you today? Good morning, Daddy. How is everything? What do you have for me today? In fact, I don't have any prayer point, Lord. Uh, whatever you want me to pray about. I'm just going to pray in tongues. Just take over and pray whatever you want. Whoever you want me to pray for. Whatever you think that I need. Just take over. And the good Lord will show up in your life. And the more you cultivate that habit of communicating with him, discussing with him, the more he will continue to reveal himself to you. And you grow deeper in him. Thank you for your time. May God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. And always remember that the limitless one live inside of you. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, by your mercy, I pray, O oh God, for those who are watching this, who may be trying to believe in your impossibilities that you, are that you have specialized on before we were even created. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, grant them the grace to see and know you, God, much more intimately for them to believe that you, God, you are more than what we can even imagine or comprehend. In the name of Jesus Christ, if there be anyone in pain, if there be anyone in any kind of uh, sorrow, if there be anyone going through any kind of struggle, let the pure fire from the Lord blow through them right now and consume the works of darkness and let that be light in every life watching this in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O Lord God of heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have any question or information you want to pass across, the email is on the screen. Please send it and I will surely get back to you. May God bless you.